I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Johnny's reactions are also deep fried gold, especially when Alejandro shares a story about Amber and her mates thinking someone was breaking into the apartment. Turns out it's just those fucking dogs, Pistol and Boo, making scratches on the door. It's time that Pistol and Boo bug it off back to the United States. They asked me to go inside the unit just to check room by room to make sure that no one was there. So I did that. Hiring in future, is that okay? Yep, yep, I'll get back to my side, bye. Another Bahamas Island staff member says, I heard them arguing. The only injury I saw was a cut above Johnny's snozzer. That means nose. That's about it. Cut to forensic psychologist Shannon Curry. She has roughly 3,500 qualifications. After listening to her for three hours, I'm convinced she's now the smartest person I know. She talks about Amber suffering from borderline and histrionic personality disorder. Amber sits there like, nah, oi, nah, nah, but nah though. Nah, fuck me dead. I'm not going to make fun of any disorders. Basically, the only thing Amber doesn't have, though, is alopecia. Oh, oh, come at me, Will Smith. Mum's friend has a big-ass Penske file like George Costanza's. She tries to go toe-to-toe with Shannon Curry, and for lack of a better and less inappropriate word, it's a bloodbath. You're incorrect. That is not correct. You, is your testimony today under oath that you did not tell your husband that you were going to be conducting the examination of Amber? That is my testimony. Penske activated. Okay. Because you brought muffins, you said, from your husband, right? You get, And you gave those to Ms. Heard, correct? May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? <laughs> the justice system can truly be a work of art. Five hours into the day, Johnny says, oh, I need another mega pint of coffee. Hard cut to violent logo and afternoon tea. Police officer one saw Jack shit at their apartment in regard to domestic violence when called out. Day 10, oh, hey, Amber. Hey, is the general vibe. Then Johnny's car arrives to the sound of Bob Marley cranking. I'm not even joking about that. People at the gate yell, Johnny, Johnny, over here, Johnny, Johnny, I've got leftover Easter eggs for you. Sean, the security guard, eventually says, move it on. Rottenborn is wondering, am I the baddie? Are we the baddies? Different atmosphere on Johnny's side. I gotta tell you, different atmosphere. Yeah, nah, yeah. Cop 2 says, I didn't see shit in the way of violence when called out to their house. Cop 3, same story. Uh, fuck all evidence. Amber and her mates in the body cam footage say everything is fine. Johnny.exe cannot be...